Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today we'll discuss how to add attachments and supporting documents to QC tests. Now let's get started. Adding supporting documents is a very important part of making sure to provide complete documentation. Adding other attachments, if any, helps to support the findings of the test and to show any aspect that is not captured in the test itself. This provides more details so the government has the full scope of the QC test. We will begin in the contract menu. Navigate to the QC tab, then click the QC requirements module. This menu will display all the QC requirements for this contract. Let's click on the QC test tile at the top to display only the QC tests. In this menu, we are able to add, edit, and delete any of the QC tests displayed. Double click on the QC test you wish to edit. In this case, we will choose test 5. For this demonstration, a QC test has already been filled out and we will need to add a few more documents to complete the package. At the bottom, click the add button. This will open the document package view. In this section, we can add, edit, and delete any documents that are added. Click the add button and choose add from file system. Select the documents you wish to add to the package. In this example, we are going to add an Excel spreadsheet and a JPEG image. You can select multiple items to upload simply by left-clicking the item while holding control and left-clicking the other document, then clicking the open button. This will add both attachments into the package. We can edit these attachments and view them by clicking each of the appropriate buttons. Since these attachments do not require a signature, we will submit for review. Submitting these documents will make the package read-only unless the government returns for corrections. RMS will prompt you even though the signatures are not required for these documents. Be sure to sign all documents before submitting to the government. Now we can click the back button to save. After the supporting documents have added, you may complete the QC test as normal. For more information on how to complete a QC test, please see the link in the description box below. In summary, we demonstrated how to add supporting documents and attachments to a QC test. We hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching.